last time on Frog Detective. We took the coolest scooter ride through the desert. We met the new sheriff and we found out we might need to get a fake ID for Susie Rabbit. I'm just saying, we might have to do that to make progress. I don't know about this game. I'm not sure this is a good game. So we finished these two, Haunted Island, The Case of the Invisible Wizard, and now we are halfway through case three, Corruption at Cowboy County. Hello, my friends. Welcome. I'm ready to go. Let's go find out what the corruption is at Cowboy County. I'm ready. Oh, lobster cops here. Okay, here we go. Yep, we're getting back at it. <laughs> okay now we're just right back at it oh oh okay so we were in the sheriff's office this is sheriff mole what is his name mm, something that started with an m mm, 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 something mole i don't remember i don't know we'll figure it out I'll, I'll put it on there or something. So remember in the last one, no, in before, yeah, okay. <laughs> At the end of the last case, somebody took my notebook and we're like, I don't know who that is. I wonder who that is. And Bill said, I think I've seen a hand that looks like that. I saw this guy. And I showed you a picture in the last video of this, this guy just peeking out in that second case. Well, Bill has since gone through the first case and found him. I will put that right here. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> that was him! Yeah. So he was in that first case and the second case. He's almost like a... a, a an anthropomorphic Easter egg. Huh, how a mole. Okay, so I don't know. I'll talk to you in a second, maybe. Oh, we got the gloves. So he had gloves right there on the table, and we were going to take them, and then we thought we shouldn't because they were evidence. And then he said, no, they're not evidence yet. So we have them. Let's, um, let's actually see what he says if we talk to him. Mason. His name is Mason. He's not going to say anything. <laughs> He is a mole of very few words. Needs to be left alone. Done. Okay, let's check through our book and just see what we got. Okay, we have a magnifier. We have a notebook. We have a scooter, a ladder, and gloves. Okay. And mystery of the missing hats. That's right. So when we got here, um, we were supposed to be trying to find a sheriff. And then we got here and Lobster Cop was like, yeah, I already found a sheriff. <laughs> but... All the hats are missing. So we gotta find the hats. Lobster cop, um, no motive. He needs, oh, we're supposed to find for him the crime scene map, a criminal tool, a key, and a meal. The meal is for him, cause you know, he's very hungry. Um, hey, it's lobster cop, number one best detective, very jealous, so tall. Craig needs definite proof of a ghost. Now, he said that there were pictures of ghosts in the saloon, and when I went in the saloon and I found a painter, I totally forgot about the pictures and just commissioned a portrait, you know, so I, we need to go back to the saloon for sure. So we need proof of a ghost. Um, we just took care of that. Um, oh, he needed a muse. He needed someone to inspire him. This is our painter. And we gave him the portrait, I mean the picture of the bear because she needed a portrait. Yep, Susie needs a fake ID. There we go. Wendy needed a portrait and he took care of that. Pistol, is that his name? Pistol took care of that. And by painting her portrait, his needs were met. Okay, so we still need a fake ID. Um... Proof of a ghost, the things that Lobster Cop needs, okay. Um, 
And that's all so far. We haven't met everybody. The, um, oh, why is the one I hit? The, I saw the graveyard. The graveyard is supposed to be haunted. And look, there, there are those bandits. There are bandits. So we got a, I think it's the, the sloth and the mouse and the koala. I think they're the bandits. So we're definitely going to have to talk to them. Okay, he needed... I'm going to look at my notebook again because I already forgot. Um, who is he and what does he want? His name is Craig. He needs the, the proof of a ghost. Okay. Okay, so remember, I can't drive. Okay, we didn't look at this building. Ooh, there's a crow up there. Or a raven. I don't remember the difference. I knew it once. Can I go in? I can't do anything with this door. Okay, so that's not where we're going, obviously. And this is the this is the general store, and she wanted a portrait, and it's right there. And she has carrots. I need those carrots, and I don't know how to get them. Oh, I need money. So I need money. I think those are going to be part of the meal. Okay, this is the saloon, and this should have... Okay. <laughs> I'm getting better at the driving, I promise. This should have uh, pictures of ghosts. <laughs> oh, I love the piano. I love the worm playing the piano with no hands. Slimy. I was like, Oscar's worm. I think it's wormy. It's not wormy. His name was Slimy. I remembered. I didn't even look it up. And so if I'm wrong, you tell me. I'm, I think I'm done with him. I'm just looking at the portraits now. Um, is that... I can't tell. I, is that an ear? I think that's his ear. Not a ghost. I mean, it could be a ghost. And that's a rabbit. And then there are empty ones. Maybe the empty ones are the thing. See, what happened is he's trying to get into a secret society and a ghost finding society. So he needs a picture of a ghost. And he already tried faking it twice <laughs> and he only gets three tries. So we have to get it right this time. I'm not seeing any with a ghost. How would I know? Oops, back, back, back. Oop, this way. Back, back. Okay, maybe the empty ones have ghosts. I don't know. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can talk to you. Bonnie! Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, hear about the hats? I must look like a heck of a suspect. Why's that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. <laughs> I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy and cooked them up in my stew. Oh! That's gonna be the meal. That's what the pot is for, and that's what the carrots are for. I'm all over it. Okay, Bonnie, I don't I don't think you should cook hats in a stew. Ha 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 ha! Did you sell the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet! Oh! Everyone come get your hat stew! Ha ha! I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. <laughs> I am literally joking. <laughs> they just call me Bonnie. I made that up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Oh, so is mine. Ah. <laughs> I'm literally joking. <laughs> My head is completely normal. Oh. <laughs> mine too. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, LOL. Okay, LOL. Hey, detective! Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County! I know it all! Why are we yelling? It's a joke, LOL! <laughs> I hope we're done soon with that. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke! Okay. 
Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? I did hear that. Ha! Gravely? Sorry? It's gravely haunted? Graveyard? Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will. Thanks. LOL. I just got the gravely thing. Ha ha ha. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Ghost photos? Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Ha <laughs> ha, legend has it they're haunted. The photos are haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Hat stew. <laughs> you didn't actually make hat stew, did you? Of course not, gross. I am making stew though. It's the only way I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where did they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Ah, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's worse. Artists. <laughs> Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but no. You're right. <laughs> it just changes the vibe. They hang around all day creating things and finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. <laughs> Rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin'. I like that. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is stew? Hot stew! <laughs> I'm joking! <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them here with the stew, keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients though. I'll bet you need carrots. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Yes? Sure. Got some money. Awesome. Oh, and around these parts, there's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you click four for me? Uh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. Yes, it does. Can I ask you some questions? I think I'm done. Nothing right now. Okay, so th this is Bonnie, right? Carrots money. <laughs> I love that. Okay, Bonnie. That piano is really loud in my ears. I don't know if it's loud for you guys. I'm going to turn it down. Okay. Okay. Uh, motive. Practical joke, perhaps? Needs carrots and cacti flo cactus flowers for her stew. She's joking. Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. King Cowboy County historian hates creativity. You know what you are, lady? A suspect. That's what you are. Okay, so um, she said, if I look at the pictures, are there more over here? Nope, so it's got to be these. Ooh, that is a spinny spin. And she will tell me about it. That looks like it's in the graveyard. Tell me about that. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Okay, so let's try that one. This one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. That's old Snappy Fresh. She was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow! It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? 
He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. <laughs> He's 130 years old. I wonder how long alligators actually live. Probably not that long. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Oh, Bonnie. Okay, thanks. Okay, what about, oops, what about that one? Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? <laughs> nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right, lol. <laughs> That's my ex-husband. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why'd you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. That's what I was thinking. Dude, really? My bad. I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo's over 50 years old. <laughs> Bonnie, I just, I don't know if I like you or not. You're, you're messing with me and I find you annoying and you're still kind of funny. Take my word for it though, that's not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. Okay. Um, and it doesn't highlight any of the ones that don't have a picture. Okay, let's look at this one. Is that a ghost? Oh, is this a ghost? Ha, I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Huh. Fun though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Okay. Changed all the colors, huh? Okay. Ooh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend has it this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on, give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait, sorry. I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff loved by all. So, not haunted? Nope, sorry. All good. So, none of the ones I can see. Oh. Oh. I didn't do that. Oh, okay. We're just... <laughs> Keep an eye out. Let's see if we see anything. Okay, that's very, very haunted music. Oh, oh. See, I knew it would be an empty one. energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel real chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold, like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do, I'd be glad to get rid of it. Oh my gosh, got a haunted photo. That was creepy. That scared me. Okay, and we already marked her, right? So I think everything else is marked. We gotta go see Craig and we gotta go to the general store. Oh, Susie Rabbit, I just don't know about you. Okay, let's, um, let, let's go see Craig first. Did it, was it Craig? Is that what it said? I think it said it was Craig. Let's go see the guy at the Hello Lobster Cop. Great music. And there's the bandit. I'm going to talk to him, but not yet. Okay, let's go. Okay, there's the store. We're going to go see Craig first. Oh, I was doing so well. Keep going. Oh, you're doing great. You're driving great. Perfect. Perfect. Look at me go. Look at me go. This is not intuitive, just so y'all know. It's not easy. Okay, here we go. There we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have a photo for you. <sighs> Can I ask you some questions? Here's your ghost picture. 
So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. You know how I know? It scared the crud out of me. Oh, really? How do you know? I just told you. Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seemed pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. Mm-hmm. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. <laughs> is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? Yeah, what is it? Oh, is it a fake ID? <laughs> what do you have? A pickaxe. <gasps> That's a tool. That's a criminal tool. Yeah. I, why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? <laughs> Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Uh-oh. Are you suspicious, Craig? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? All the time. I'm like the little trade guy. Yeah, pretty often. Okay, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry, that's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. Forever and ever, Craig. It's gonna haunt me forever and ever. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. Got a pickaxe. Okay. Oh, maybe, maybe the bandits are gonna give us the fake ID. So I don't have the photo anymore, but now I have a pickaxe. Okay, and um, his needs are met. So let's go get the carrots. Thanks, Craig. Okay, we turn around, we, we watch where we're walking, we go this way, oh, over here. And then we, oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need these carrots and I have money. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? Yes, yes I do. I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks. Got some carrots. Okay, I do have to go get some flowers though. Cactus flowers. Okay. Now let's just double check. Uh, I have a tool. The crime scene map is supposed to be <laughs> supposed to be in the bank where Susie Rabbit is and she wanted me to help her break into the bank to get it. But then she wanted a fake idea to get into the bank. Okay. A key. I still haven't talked to anybody who had a key and I think we're getting to work on the meal. So I need a key and I need to deal with Susie. Okay. Um, Susie needs fake ID. Carrots and cactus flowers. Okay, so Susie, cactus flowers, and you know, a key and stuff. So let's, this looks like a cactus with a flower, right? Let's see if I can get that. Can I take that? Oh, I can. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. That's why we needed the gloves. Got a cactus flower. Okay, we gotta have, we, oh. Every time, really? Every time? That's a cute flower. I like that. So um, we need we need three more. Is there one over there? I don't know. Let's see if there's one closer. I thought that little tumbleweed was a ghost. It wasn't a ghost. Um, okay. Let's see. We'll look back here. Are those great? Are those? Um, oh, that's a. That's like a bench. I mean, like a. a what do you call it? <sighs> like a, a deck. That's. <laughs> I thought it was. Um, I thought it was hearses. It's like a stage. I mean, not hearses. I thought it was. Oh my goodness, my brain is locked. I thought it was coffins. My goodness, I can't get those. Come on. They're right there. Okay, well, let's see if I can get this one. Come on. I have to get the right ones because <laughs> that's not fair. 
There are a whole bunch. Why won't it let me get them? Oops. Okay. Come on. <sighs> okay. I really thought that as soon as I found them, I could get them. Apparently not. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's try this one. <sighs> you know, if I could drive better, this wouldn't take so long. This probably won't take Bill very long at all, because he can do this, and I can't. Okay. Now I'm getting grumpy. Getting grumpy and angry. Like I should know where these flowers are. I only have one, right? Oops, sorry. Uh, notebook. Let's look. I have one flower, and she said I need four, right? Let's go quickly to there. It just says flowers, but I know it was four. Okay. So, um, let's see. Do I need to go up there? I would think it wouldn't be that hard to find. Like, they'd be kind of close, but shows what I know. Okay, come on. Really? Ma okay, if I can't find another one soon, I'm going to go do something else. Let's, um, we're going to go talk to a bandit if I can't find one soon. Okay, I don't see one there. Is there there's a little one there. Can I have that one? Nope. Oh, how about this one? Come on, that's perfect. Is that one? Nope. Okay, really? This is very annoying. I'm going to spend an hour looking for that, those stupid flowers. What was that? Oh, it's just a weed thing. <gasps> That's a snake! <laughs> I don't want to be by a snake! I hate snakes! What the heck is there a snake doing in this game? We're going, we're going this way. We're going around this way. <gasps> ah! <laughs> <laughs> the little bug scared me. Okay, you know what? I know it's silly. I don't want to go where the snake is. I know it's probably nothing, but I don't want to go where the snake is. There wasn't supposed to be a snake in this game. Maybe he helped me find the flower. Thanks. Thanks, snake. <laughs> okay, two flowers. Wow, he actually got my heart racing a little bit there. I hate snakes really bad. Okay, so at first I thought he was a worm, and then I was like, no, he's a snake. Okay, so do they all, the ones I'm looking for, are they going to be on a cactus that looks like that? If so, um, that one kind of does. Oh, there's one up there. Let's go see if this one is one. One that I can take. Yes! Got a cactus flower. Okay, so they do look like that. So I just need to find another... Another cactus that looks like that. Okay. Whew, my heart's racing. That's just silly. Okay, there's not no one, another one there. Do I see another one? There's that stupid bug. He's not gonna hurt me, but I'm still gonna stay away from him. Okay, um. Nothing there that looks like that one. None of those. Okay, there's a little tumbleweed, du, 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 du. the tumbling tumbleweed, I wish I could remember that song, drifting along like the tumbling tumbleweed, something like that. Um, okay, not there, but this one looks a little bit like it, that's probably not it either. Okay, um, no, because it doesn't look the same. Do I see another one? Maybe it's up on the hill. Okay, so this is what it looks like, but I think that might be... There's that stupid snake! Is he coming after me? He's hitting. He's hidden now. I'm scared. I don't want to go over there. Seriously, if I can't drive, then I can't avoid him either. I think he's trying to keep me away from... There he is! Where are you going, dude? I want to know where you're going before I go there. pretty fast. I 
was thinking maybe this cactus was it. But he's making me nervous. I don't see a flower on there. Did we already get that one? I think we did. Let's go. Let's go this way. Let's see if there's another one here. There are two more that look like it right there. Those both look like it. Do either of them have a flower? No, they don't. There's the snake! I hate that snake. It's coming for me. I swear it is. Susie, there's a snake chasing me. And a bug. This is a scary game all of a sudden. <laughs> there's another bug. What the heck? This is a scary wilderness. That's a different kind of bug. Oh, no, it's not. It's okay. I'm going to turn around and there's going to be a snake. And then I'm going to be sad. What's up there? <gasps> Something's up there. Is that one of our bandits? Should we go see? Let's go see what's up there. I don't know what's up there. Hello there, little bug. I'm ignoring you. I'm not scared of you. But see, that looks kind of like the one that has a flower on it. But that's not. That doesn't have a flower. Sorry, I went the wrong way. That was not good. Um, up here. Oops. <gasps> what? <gasps> I think that's the bandits. Oh, uh, should we talk to him? Let's talk to him. Oh, he's got, he's got the hats. Look, those are for sure the hats. Are you a bandit? Sherman, wow, look at you, huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? <laughs> I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Ha, huh, yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah, is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. <laughs> authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Sherman, you're a weirdo. <laughs> what? Because of your good looks. Yeah, I'm with you, detective. It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like, you could like steal my heart because you're so dashing. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them. <sighs> Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. Ha ha. I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, ha ha. Yeah, I got it. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Rhonda Dynamite. That's a pretty great name. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, because I just... Oh, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Oh, he's such a kind outlaw. That's so nice. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him a little time to settle in. He is quiet, that's for sure. But I don't know. It could be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Okay. Sheriff Mason Mole. Why are you suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. Uh, I do not. <laughs> Don't know you, buddy. Not yet. Sherman winks. <laughs> Sherman, you're so funny. Anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. 
Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I've no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? The mine. Tell me about the mine, Sherman. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask, is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. That's right. That was in the first case. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. <laughs> I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. You're a little flirty, aren't you, Sherman? Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Guess what, Sherman? I have a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. We used dynamite in the first case. Do you have one? I can trade you for uh, a shovel. Sure, I'll think about it. Why, why are you thinking about it? Don't think about it, just trade. Everybody who wants to trade, there's a reason. <sighs> sorry, sorry little detective. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Give you the pickaxe. You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Oh, I'd love that, thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the shovel for now. Offers open. Seriously, Sherman? Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. Got a shovel. He thinks you're cute, frog detective. Uh, oh, I'm still missing a flower. I forgot that. Shovel, carrots, gloves. Ugh, one more flower. I gotta get a flower, and I have to go. I have to go where the um, where the snake is. When I was talking to Sherman, I forgot about the snake. Uh, motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Needs a pickaxe to break into the mine. We gave it to him. Notes. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny. So cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. Oh, I tried to mark it. Wait a minute. He's a suspect. He's a suspect. I tried to mark it and I hit the wrong button. <laughs> it was going to be so clever when I said sus suspect. He's a suspect. I hope he didn't do it. I think... I think he likes him. I think they both like each other. Look at his cute little tent. Okay, just scanning to find out where that snake is. There's the bug. Okay, do we see another cactus that looks like the one that had the, oops, had the flower? Um, no. Bug, you're annoying. You bug me. Ha 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 ha. Okay, um, I think, mm. <laughs> I know I'm absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous, but I don't want to go where he is. If I could drive better, then it wouldn't bother me so much, but the fact that I can't drive very well makes me feel like if I tried to get away from him, I'd crash right into him and then I'd die. I'd get stung, bit, I guess a snake bites you. I'd get bitten, and then I'd pass out and die. You're scaring me now because I'm on edge. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where the other flower is. <sighs> okay, let's follow the snake, and then he won't sneak up on us. Right? I, I don't know where he went. <laughs> I lost him. I don't want to lose him. If I lose him, I'm going to die. Okay. Um, this looks like it, but I don't, I, I might have already gotten one there. Okay. I swear, I've been to all these places. Hello there, lobster cop waving your arms around again. Okay, um, is there anything back there? 
it's I think that goes back over where I was right yes it does okay so uh, what about up there there's not that's not the right kind right nope okay let's let's go look up there can I get up there oops let's look that way um, does that have one? It's probably back where I first ran into the snake and ran away. It's probably back there. What do you think? Oops, that way. I swear. <sighs> There's got to be something giving me a clue, right? I know we checked that over there, and I think we checked this one there. That stupid snake. Can I get up here? Nope, I can't get up there. I can get up here, but I don't want to get up there. Maybe if I go around. Okay, can I come clear over here so I can see if the snake comes this way? Because he went that way. Oh, he's gone. The snake is gone. I hope. <laughs> he's really gone. Okay, um, none of those are it. I know he's just a little thing in the background. He's not even anything. Run away, run away, run away, run away, little frog. Run away, run away. Okay, um, let's, let's, let's go talk to somebody else. Hey, look, he has scooters. I'll get the flower in a minute. I don't know. Maybe the flower will just turn up. Um, let's talk to this other bandit. Let's go talk to him. Hello there, little bandit guy. <sighs> Rhonda Dynamite. They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It's time for us to do battle. All I've got is a shovel. I do not have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, Frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? Who owns this scooter? You own the scooter barn? <laughs> wow. Messed that one up. No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, Frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. <laughs> Did you just give me your full address? Seriously, internet safety, dude. Yes, you literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you gonna know where I live? <laughs> you have a great point. Uh, that's it? Oh, here she comes. Thanks, Grace. The detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich, then tell people where you live because how else are they gonna know you live in a mansion? Grace, don't tell people where you live. Okay, even then, just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Exactly. Thanks for playing, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> oh, silly. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm enjoying having some company. So, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. <laughs> Rhonda? What? No! Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Wow, you are mean. This is a rough episode. Tie their shoes together and trip them up. Tell them they're ugly. Rhonda, that's rude. Please, no. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. <laughs> I think that's right. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know, by some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. 
I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one is going to mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mull. Show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? About being the sheriff. How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force. I will simply beat up Mason Mole. <laughs> what? You can't do that? Yes, I can. I'm Rhonda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. Well, good for you, Rhonda Dynamite. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm, I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies. Just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Your job. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, okay, then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, sounds intense. Forgery? That's where you get a fake ID. This is a very illicit game. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things, important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. <laughs> Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Nope, that's all. Okay, so he's our forger. She's our forger, that's Rhonda. Okay, she needs writing supplies. Um, I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hats, just a hunch though. To write a resume and learn some nonviolent conflict resolution skills, that is what she needs. Wants to fight me? No, wait, she wants to fight everybody. Knows my full address. Dreams of being the sheriff. Suspicious. Okay. Okay, we are almost at 50 minutes. Can we go in here? Okay, I, d I don't know if we're going to finish today. I thought in the last one we got it in two. But we might not get it in two. I can't imagine how we're going to get it in two right now. Let's see. We still need that other flower. Maybe we should just, maybe we should just confront the snake and just deal with it and see what happens. He'll probably just go right past us. Like when I caught the tarantula just go for it and just deal with it what do you think what do you think there's a scary bug that scared the crud out of me and I'm not ready for the snake okay um this is where he is right okay and what did he want oh I gave him something already let's go talk to lobster cop and see what he tells us see if he gives us any hints that's a different bug than the other one the one had a stripe on its back this one doesn't. This one, this one might be a black widow. I can't get a good look at it. This way, I thought it had a, like a, a red mark on its back, which is not a black widow because a black widow has it on its belly. Okay. Don't know where the snake is. Don't know where the flower is. Oh, there's the other bandit. Oops. You think I can talk to him from here? I'll bet I can. Oh, maybe not. How do I get there then? Was there a way inside the saloon? Okay, I'll come talk to you in a minute, Lobster Cop. I'm going to go in here. Oh, there are stairs. <gasps> Let's go up the stairs. Let's go. Oops, I didn't go quite right. Okay, here we go. There we go. Turn your face. Okay, I am. Turn your face. I am. 
Look, there's some shoes or boots or whatever they are supposed to be. Where'd you go? There you are. Who are ya? Dusty. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Okay. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar powered bobblehead? <laughs> and more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats and no time considering why we had them in the first place. Wow, Dusty, you are so deep. I would assume for sun protection. Protection from the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin, especially frogs. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. That's, that's right, that's what would happen. Is being crispy wrong, detective? <laughs> it's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? You're a little too deep. Well, I'm the frog detective, and I am just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you, and you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? You're so clever, detective. Ha! Ha! If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. Okay, well that's highlighted in a different color, probably orange or, you know, a gold or something, because I'm colorblind, I can't tell. But that means I need one. I don't have one. How am I going to get one? Perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm, okay. Ahem. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting round on your bum. <laughs> Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. Instead, I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. I think that was a pretty good one, Dusty. Except for sitting on your bum, that might not have been your best work. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. Perfect cowboy poem? Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far and maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. How about that? From his sack near the tracks. Saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. Let's go with from his sack. From his sack. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store to get some more because to get some more. For sure. To get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead to his shock stood a newly built office block. <laughs> there was Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock. Okay, um, it's got to be the goblin. Although goblins aren't really cowboyish. He saw a goblin on a rock. 
Um, okay, sure. <laughs> but just ahead to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over concentrated face only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. Nothing there, just empty space. The thing had gone without a trace. Oh my goodness, all of those are really good. He waddled over concentrated face only to discover nothing there. Just empty space. Ooh, plot twist. Okay. He waddled over concentrated face only to discover nothing there. Just empty space. The cowboy smiled and shook his head and off he went back to bed feeling like an egghead to tell his friend Ned. I really want to say that, but I got to say back to bed. Back to bed. The cowboy smiled and shook his head and off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect! The perfect poem! I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks! Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Maybe I can have them. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Ah, I understand. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. Got a writing set. Okay, so those are for... Rhonda Dynamite writing set. I still need another flower. I need so many things. Dusty. There he is. Motive. Wanted to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat osmosis. Needs just someone to talk to, I think so. Notes. Poet, icon, legend, friend. Long to, longs to live the cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. Okay, he got his taken care of. Rhonda Dynamite needs paper, um, cactus flower. There's still a lot to do. It's fake ID, really? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're wrapping this one up. I know, I thought we'd be done too. Let's just look out at the graveyard for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll watch Lobster Cop guard the graveyard and we'll just talk about it. So next time we'll come back and we'll get that done. I'm having fun. I love this game. It's so much fun, except now it has a snake. And I think that was the worst invention ever. I have frustration and scaredness. Anyway, it was fun. I'll talk to you later. We're going to, oh, I can't say goodbye yet. Um, we're going to do this some more. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. We're going to finish up this case and then we're done with Frog Detective. We've got mostly Animal Crossing. We've got a couple new games here and there, just a single test and mostly Animal Crossing. But first, we've got to finish off this game. Gall darn it. Do you like my cowboy words? Okay, we're going to wrap this one up. Hope you have a great day. Go do something awesome and make sure you give yourself a yeehaw because you deserve it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, wait, that's not how I save it. <laughs> yes.